Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Living Shadow Tarot. How be ya? I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Hope you are doing swell out there. We got four cards today I'm going to choose from for your sign. These are the signs I did not do already. So, let's see whoever falls down here, which apparently is Scorpio. I thought it was going to be Scorpio. So, we're going to do the Scorpio reading. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Ooh, we're going to find out what is going on, what is going on, what is going on. If you, do not, if you do not like the message, you do not have to continue to watch it. You can always stop and go find somebody else who gives you the message that you want to hear. Now, if you, you want to hear something and it ain't the truth, and you upset because someone told you something and you, just because you wanted to hear it and it didn't come in your life because it wasn't true, then you really going to be fucked up. I'm just saying it. Like, so many of y'all, I'm so, like, I'm sick of this shit. So many of y'all seem to, um, energies seem to really want this to be just, you want someone to just tell you what you want to hear and not what the actual truth of the matter is. And I'm like, that's pissing me the fuck off. We have King of Cups in reverse, Five of Pentacles in reverse, and the High Priestess. We have the Emperor and the Seven of Wands in reverse. So, somebody is not an emotional lack. I, I'm getting here with this King of Cups in reverse. Scorpio, to me, this is you. You're being in intuitive, but your intuition is telling, it's like already told you when to let some shit go with this Five of Pentacles in reverse. It's like you let something go. It's like you're not fighting this emperor anymore. That's also can be you too. It's like stepping into like being being um like a masculine energy that's intuitive. Yeah. Eight of Wands. I'm getting so here's the here's the thing I'm just gonna say about this about people not liking whatever the reading is. This is this is giving me this energy with this emperor here, right? This is giving me where you are a you you could be a male. Or identify whatever have a male body, male body parts. Not saying, uh, uh, you know, you got a dick. I'm not saying that you do. You may not. I don't know if you do or not. But this is giving me that, right? This is like some. This is the energy is giving me is that if you are a guy, and you are intuitive, that's the that's the issue. And it's not because of anything else besides you're just intuitive as a guy. Because whoever I like, you could be around some female some feminine energy you whoever who is this who is this around you because i'm really getting this energy of you're intuitive and you're not fighting it but these people are fighting you because you're intuitively telling them the like i'm not gonna say the wrong thing yeah seven of pentacles they didn't invest their time into learning their intuition so these people are like coming and maybe trying like they could be coming to you trying to just hear whatever they want to hear if you are a high priestess, you could be someone who does readings. We have four pentacles in reverse. Yeah. So you're not holding it back. Yeah, we got the magician, and the magician came out sideways. Hold on. Things were sliding. The king of pentacles and the magician came out sideways. Like I said, you could be, if you are doing, if you're a reader, you could be, you could do tarot readings for people. You could do, um, you could just be intuitive and tell somebody something about themselves. Like, you could be this person that you just, you know, you tell someone something about themselves. You tell someone something about their life. You're intuitive. You're not worried about it. I, I, and by not worried about it, I mean, like, you don't fight off your intuition. If anything, these people are fighting your, these people are fighting your intuition for you. With this King of Pentacles and this Magician sideways. Yeah, and this Page of Swords, because they're watching you so damn hard. These are people who are watching you so hard, and they're really trying to, like, control what you see but you don't even it's like you don't even control what you see how do i put this it's like say you're driving down the street right now i i'm most people i'm from michigan so this is you may not have deer in your area or whatever but you see a deer walking across the street right most people stop for the deer or, do, or try not to hit the deer you are the person where and with this high priestess energy, this is giving me, with this King of Cups in reverse, 
you take your emotions out of it. So if your intuition has said, go down this other road, you probably would go down this other road. And then the next night you'll see something on the news saying there was an accident on the road that you didn't go down type of thing right it's this is giving me that type of energy where it's like you don't it's not like emotional about it it's not like oh i want i really want to go down that road because this is the right always it's like you're don't it's like okay let me just go on a different road it ain't worth it i'll get there it's like that right and these people are pissed with the seven of pentacles and the four of pentacles because they didn't invest their time into that and so they're watching you with this magician and king of pentacles sideways, they're watching you getting what you want, but they're watching you so hard, they're trying to stop it. What is this? We have the ace of cups, yeah, and the four of wands. They want to bring love to ruin your peace. With this ace of cups here. They want to bring some love into your life to ruin your peace. And by that, I mean, so if you guys don't know, there's lovers and the devil. I talk about this a lot, where... They're both on the same. It's like being tempted with a lover. It's like these people are really trying to tempt you with some kind of love with this Ace of Cups. Yeah, because they really want to bring a tower. They want to bring a tower into your life. Like, I'm not like, and I'm getting they want to bring a tower into, into your life because you're intuitive and they're, they didn't spend their time on that. They didn't spend their time and their energy becoming more intuitive, becoming more um, psychic, becoming more advanced with this high priestess. They did not. They did not gain the spiritual ranks that you gained, and because they, they didn't gain them, they don't want you to have it either. They're trying to strip you of it with this tower. I'm really getting. They're trying to send the tower your way to strip you of it. Who are these individuals? Who are these individuals? Who are these people? 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 The devil in reverse. And then we have three of pentacles, the lovers, see? And the nine of pentacles in reverse. This is what I'm saying. They're hell bent on making you not be single. And the funny thing about this is, is that, like, as I, as I said before, you're that person who, if you know that, if you feel like something is going down the road or going to happen down the road or there's going to be a deer across the street or an accident or something, you don't go down that road. They are heavily trying to give you people that you don't want and you intuitively feel like you don't want these people. So by this, I mean that with the devil and the three of pentacles in reverse, these people... They're actively trying to get you to be with somebody because they do not want you to be single with this nine of pentacles in reverse. They do not want you to be single. They do not want you to be, like, by yourself. They want you to be with somebody who's going to slow you down with this ace of cups and this four of wands in reverse. They want to be with somebody that you do not want with this uh, high priestess. They, wanna be, they want you to be with somebody who's going to either drag you down, hurt you, whatever. It, and it's like, they... And this is what I'm saying with the with the high priestess card. Like, I'm getting with this or this emperor card. You know who you want if you want somebody. I know I'm not sure if you even want somebody to be honest. But if, if you know who you want if you want somebody, you know the type of person that you want. These people just want to throw you with somebody, anybody, whoever, whatever. They they don't have any. As I said, they don't have any type of intuition. They don't have any type of discernment. This is, um, if you're gay, they, they met another gay person and they said, oh, y'all need to date each other because you're only two, only two gay people I know. It, it, this, this is that type of person. This is the type of person where if you are a, a black person and you in an all white town and they meet and they have a black cousin or something, it's like, oh, these are the only two black people I know. They got to date each other. Th this is that. They have no concept of you. Cause like, as I'm getting here, this, you have been like fighting this off. This is constantly fighting off people because, again, with this magician and this king of pentacles, this is giving me trying to get the money up, right, or get manifesting more money for this emperor life, right? Emotions have been taken out of it with this king of cups. We had this magician and this king of pentacles just trying to get money. I'm really getting money from this. It could be a stability as well, but I'm really getting money in material things. Like, you're not trying to deal with people. With this devil in reverse and this tower... I feel like the tower, they're trying to send this tower into your life. But really, 
because they really they trying to send this tower into your life because they want to ruin your life. But in all honesty, it's showing you even more so how much you don't want to deal with not only a lover but these people who keep trying to pr like push you to get a lover. But let me get a couple more here before we go to this extended because this is really. Yeah, we have four of swords here in the reverse. They don't stop. This is the problem. They don't stop. And this is the, like... If you say you don't want this person, instead of... it, How do I put this? This is like... You know, people are like serial daters. There are some people who are serial daters. And by that, I mean like... They date somebody and they date somebody else right afterward. They don't give themselves any time to heal. Any time to recuperate. Any time to be like... I'm not going to like I'm not going to talk to somebody for a year so I can get myself together. These people, they date one person, it doesn't work out and they got to hop to the next person. Like I know some people who are like this, yo. I know some people who are like this, especially if they if their living situation were de was dependent upon whoever they're dating, which I'm really getting that this could be a thing. Like you could be around people whose living situation is dependent upon who it is they're dating, so they want you to date somebody so that you they, they can get you that way or I don't know yeah we have the strength here we have the three of wands two of swords yeah nine of cups and okay so we have the strength card the nine of cups in reverse the four of cups in reverse the star card in reverse two of swords and three of wands yeah okay so with this, you have this nine of cups in reverse, the star in reverse, right? That you're you're expressing you don't want to change something about this with the, this uh, like you're you're not expressing the, whatever they want you to express with this four of cups here in reverse. I'm not getting that you're bored. You are more worried like you're looking on how to move forward, and these people are worried about a relationship with the strength card here. You're strong. Scorpio, you're fucking strong, and these people can't take it because they're not. How can they, these are the people who sit around going, "Well, how? Who does she think she is being strong without a husband? Or how does she think she like? You need like if, if like like this is that energy of like, okay, say you're a woman and you want to be a contractor, or you want to build a house. These are the people who are gonna come along and say you need a man to build a house for you. Can't build a house. You're too weak. Like this is that misogynistic energy. These are people who just. You're strong and they're not, and they want you to not be strong. And they keep trying to push you to be with somebody, distract you to have some sort of love with somebody. Like, these people just want to put somebody in your life so that you don't seem as strong as you actually are. That's all this is. They want to put someone in your life so that you are not as strong as you actually are. They want to make you weak by having you be with somebody. And I say that because this is this they they come off with this energy of they don't know how to move forward themselves so they want to stop you from moving forward and honestly the only reason why they don't know how to move forward is because they're around or their environment is full of people who also are not trying to move forward it's like if you it's like it's like a single people's it's like a single person's party how do you i don't even know how you put that like have you ever seen one of those like blind dating mixers or something like that? It's kind of like that. It's like where all these people gather in a room and you may be the per like they, it's like, okay, let me, let me give you this scenario, this scenario. I don't know if this is happening in your life or not, but this is basically what this energy is reading as. Um, if you ever seen, they have blind date rooms or like online dating rooms or blind date rooms where you can go in there, they like rent out a restaurant and they put different numbers of stuff at tables and people go there and they, you know, go and they, people shift, um, one per, on one side of the table, one person sits there, the other side of the table, another person will, you know, get up and move and they rotate so that people can meet these different people, these different mixers, get phone numbers, blah, 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 blah. This is giving me the energy of, you have people around you, whether they be friends, coworkers, colleagues, whoever, family members, they are like dragging you to this mixer and you're sitting there going, I don't want this person. I, I already intuitively know I don't want this person. 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 Am I getting paid for being here? And these people are like, 
why do you not want somebody? We're all coupled up. Why don't you want somebody? And it's because, like, you just don't. And they don't understand. Like, you're strong by yourself. And they don't have that strength. So they just, they really don't want you to have it. That's literally it. It's like, they're trying to get you to be, like, date someone, date someone, date someone. To the point where, like, this to me, honestly, and I'm going to get to this extended here in a second. Because this to me is, hon is honestly giving me, they're trying to get you to date so bad that they're fucking up their own marriages and their own lives and their own relationships. Because they're trying to make you be like them so badly and their unhappy marriages. It's like, you know what I mean? Like, some people can get in a marriage and be unhappy. Not, not every marriage is a happy marriage. These people have gotten into, like, unhappy marriages, shit like that. The, and they, they are not trying to heal themselves. They're too busy trying to make you be in the same type of situation that they were in. The same fucked up situation. They're too busy trying to get you to be like that. And they're so blinded by the fact that you're not being like them. That they don't even see how much they fucking up their own life. They really don't see it. They're fucking up their own life by trying so hard to make you like them. And you're like, I'm strong. I don't want a fucked up life. So we're going to get to this extended here because I want to find out a little bit more about these people and how to get rid of them. But please click the link in the description box below for the extended. Do check out my site, deliveryshadow.me. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. I appreciate every single like, comment, view, uh, all those things on here. Thank you again. And uh, remember, we are the assassination. Bye.